Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to give you a live demo of how to refactor your research code into production code. Now, for some of you who doesn't know what is a research code and a production code, research code is the code that you write first time or you know when you are doing experimentation with your data. And production code is what moves to the production and that works in the real time. And the process of converting this is called code refactoring. Okay, so many a times you may face the situation where you, you will have to refactor the code. I'm going to discuss five key concepts with a demo that you should keep in mind when you are refactoring your code. Okay, and I'm going to show you all that in Python. So let me go ahead and take a simple machine learning model here. Let's go to Python. This is a simple machine learning model that you can see here. Okay, now what is happening here? See from the beginning, this is nothing that is unfamiliar to you. Very, very familiar steps I have written here. So some packages are getting imported. I will just quickly walk you through this code. Then we will refactor this, okay? Then I am reading a data that is on my desktop, diabetes.csv, okay? I am taking that data. I am separating in train uh, predictor and response. Then I am breaking in train and test, okay? Then I am fitting a model. Arcs is nothing but one kind of parameter. Then I am fitting a model here, okay? Then I am predicting model score and I am dumping my trained model to my disk. That is what I am doing. So it's very, very simple steps that I have taken here. And through this, it will be very easy for you to understand what I'm trying to explain, okay? So uh, suppose this code comes to you and somebody wants you to refactor this code to put in the production. So what are the few issues you are able to see with the code, okay? Uh, you can comment me what issues you first thought. You can pause the video here and comment me. But let me go ahead and try to explain you what are few things that you must keep in mind when you refactor your code. So as you can see in line eight, right? The path of the file on which I want to train my model. I am supplying the path like this. This is called as the hard coding, okay? And in production, you should not hard code your values. Suppose tomorrow I want to train my model on some other data. Then what happens? Then I cannot hard code like this, right? I mean, I cannot come to the code and change it. That's not a good practice. So this should come from the argument or this should be tunable. This should be changeable, okay? So what first principle that you should remember is no hard coding, okay? The second principle that you need to remember and that is mistake in this code is, if you see here, guys, suppose if line eight does not run properly, then there will be problem in line 10. If line 10 does not run properly, there will be problem in line 12. If line 12 does, does not run properly, there will be problem in line 15 and so on and so forth. So one part of code is depending on other part of code very, very tightly. Okay. So this kind of coding is called tightly coupled code. Different parts of the code are tightly associated with each other. This is not a good practice of writing the code, okay? So what we intend to write is loosely coupled code. That I have written in trend.py, which I will show you in some time. Let me explain you what are the issues with this code. So two issues, hard coding and tightly coupled. Third issue is there is no exception handling in this code, okay? So suppose something goes here and there, some unexpected value come, unexpected input come. Suppose I give a wrong file name here. Many things can come and there is no exception handling. So that is third thing we should keep in mind. I have done all that in trend.py, which I will show you, okay? Fourth thing that you should keep in mind is, uh, suppose there are some unnecessary lines in the code. Here, I am not plotting a box plot or I'm not plotting a, let's say scatter plot. I'm not doing df.describe. I'm not doing df.fill na. I'm not doing fill na is useful, by the way. I'm not doing df.info. I'm not doing some other charts, graphs, some basic, you know, some column I created, which I don't need. All those unnecessary lines of code is not needed in production. In research code, it's fine. In production, it's not needed. Okay. So you should remember this part as well. So let's go ahead and try to write what all we noticed here. So first is we should not have hard coding. So say here, no hard coding. Okay. Second is we should not have tightly coupled code. So let's say here, no tightly coupled code. You guys can start thinking T A Z H T L Y tightly, right? Tightly coupled code, coupled code. Okay. 
third thing what I explained is exception handling was not done. So exception handling we must do. So I will write here exception handling. Okay. Exception handling. And then I will write here no, no, un, un, necessary, unnecessary code. Okay. And then I will tell you one more thing which is applicable to machine learning models. Okay. And that is versioning. Okay. Versioning and reproducibility. Now, what is the meaning of versioning and reproducibility? So, in machine learning scenario, we we, um, you know, uh, build multiple versions of the model and multiple versions of the data we will be using. So all these things should be reproducible and we should be able to maintain the version of that. Okay. These five principles keep in mind, guys. And now let's come, come and show you how I am taking care of these in my uh, other file. So come here, train.py. So remember how this hard coding is happening in file path. What I have done for that, I will return a function of load data where I am passing a path okay so let me show you how this code runs so for running this code right i will simply go here and click on this and it will run okay it will run like this because all the things will run one by one okay now let me say this let me come here and let me if i have to run this right then i will go here and say python train.py and i will give path of my file okay let me pull this up I will say python train.py and I will give path of my file. So train.py is my file. Okay. So at the moment I see this, I say this dot csv dot csv. It will run the same thing, but here I am passing the, I'm not hard coding the file path. I'm passing in the argument, which is taking care by loading data. Tomorrow I want to change the file path. I can change it. Okay. This is the example of how you remove hard coding. Then how do you remove tightly coupled code? So everything comes inside one function. So if you see here, in the left hand side code right breaking the data splitting the data or separating train and test all these things are one by one in the line here all these things are in one function and all these functions are getting called in the main if you see in the main load data split data train model get model everything is getting called and all these things are function an example of how you write a loosely coupled code okay so Third thing what I want to notice you here is in the main I'm writing a try catch here. So suppose there is something wrong with the when I'm trying to run the code, right? So let me try to show you this. When I'm trying to run this code, suppose in place of CSV, I write CS. Just just a mistake I'm making knowingly. If I run this, it will tell me one exception. Okay, this is an example of exception handling. Now this is not a full fledged exception handling, but still an unknown exception occurred is the message I'm giving here. So it is giving me this message. Okay, so exception handling we have done. And then suppose there are some unnecessary lines in the code. We will obviously look at that and remove when we are separating the code in different, different function, different, different modules. Now, one part that is remaining here is how do we take care of versioning and how do you, how do we take care of reproducibility? Okay. So these are MLOps concepts, obviously code pipeline concepts, and this needs to be taken care with different kinds of tool such as I will just write here few tools. And if you guys are interested, I will create a detailed video on something known as ML flow. Okay. So this is little more technical stuff. Hence, I not, I'm not covering in this because it will be too much of information using ML flow or using some other packages and tools, right? We can take care of model versioning and model reproducibility. I mean, code versioning and reproducibility. Okay. If you guys want me to go deeper into this topic, drop me a comment saying you are liking this kind of explanation and you want me to go deeper into this topic. Meanwhile, please remember in your code, do not have hard coded, do not write tightly coupled code, handle exceptions, don't write unnecessary lines. And one more thing, which I did not mention here, uh, you can separate this in different different files also when you create the pipeline. For example, one can be cleaning, one can be some kind of uh, uh, data import pipeline or data cleaning pipeline, right? You can have different files as well. In Here I'm writing different functions, right? Different files as well. So this is just the tip of the iceberg, guys, how you remove, how you change your code from research to production. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up so that I know that I have to create more videos on these lines, okay? And I'll see you all in the next video, guys, wherever you are, stay safe and take care.